What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Like Music. It is Warren Zevon here. Uh, Jaskus underway, which is my full month takeover of the month of August. Choosing all the artists that we cover this month. Uh, Warren Zevon up this week, and uh, we ranked the records yesterday. Check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. Today, we are going to each give you our top 10 favorite songs, and Joe is going to kick us off. All right, uh, spoiler alert, if you come to this before you hit the album's ranking, you're going to find out very quickly what my favorite album is. Uh, not quite yet, though. Number 10, I got Hit Somebody, a hockey song. Very ridiculous. Uh, David Letterman on backing vocals yelling Hit Somebody. But as a Canadian, well, part Canadian, and a big hockey fan, this one really gets me. I think the lyrics are very smart and he makes great use of the Canadian province names and Canadian team names. The details are really on point here. So one of my favorite hockey or sports songs. It's probably the only hockey song. One of my favorite sports songs. Number nine, I got Carmelita, the self-titled. Just a really nice little country song with a little Latin flamenco flavor. Really like the dark, heartfelt lyrics being strung out on heroin and stuff. Uh, cool track number eight, also from Warren Zevon, Hasten Down the Wind. Uh, very earnest, very pretty. Uh, I think Zevon plays the heartstrings like a lap steel here. Uh, good enough for Linda Ronstadt. Good enough for me. And I think this is my preferred mode of, of Zevon. Less of the sarcasm, more of the, you know, from the heart. Number seven, I'll do Bed of Coals. Nice country rock ballad. Another more earnest one. A uh, little, little bit of changes by Black Sabbath in there. Gone country rock with more wonderful lap steel. T-Bone Burnett on the co-write there. Number six, Join Me in L.A. Funky, jazzy, put down of Los Angeles. Stevie Nicks and Bonnie Raitt give amazing backing vocal performances on that one. Number five, uh, another one from Bad Luck Streak in Dancing School. Uh, I got Wild Age. Um, reminds me a little bit of like a Jackson Brown track, but it's very tuneful. Got the Eagles on backing vocals, some really nice guitar. And really love Zevon's powerful, kind of on the edge vocal performance as the uh, song winds down, which is cool. I like when he gets a little grittier. Number four, my one track from Excitable Boy. I got Lawyers, Guns and Money. Love that main riff. I uh, love the instrumentation. Great bass line. And I think you know, I, I gave a pretty scathing review of Excitable Boy, but I think the lyrics here are very clever and Zevon's vocal performance is really good. And we'll do a trifecta here from self-titled. I got Poor, Poor, Pitiful Me, which I believe somewhere I, I read it was written about Jackson Brown, sort of like being so glum and everything, despite him being, you know, really good looking and a great songwriter and, and everything else. But I think the lyrics are really on point. Great self-deprecating. Uh, well, not self-deprecating, but great uh, deprecating uh, wit here. And I love Lindsey Buckingham on backing vocals. And you got that great California country rock uh, instrumentation, which I always like. Number two, I'm going to go French Inhaler. Love the piano. Love the backing vocals. Love the... It's a nice mix of like black humor but also heartfelt uh, lyrics and uh, really love the bridge when Warren breaks into those powerful vocals, the I, 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 I thought you'd be a star. You really tell he's just like singing from the heart and not, you know, from sort of this like character or anything else. Like that's really him. And I think it really works. Number one, though, is going to be Desperados under the eaves. I think it's his best lyrics. Uh, it's just a big emotional piano ballad. Uh, with more great backing vocals. Uh, I love when he sings, I was sitting in the Hollywood Hawaiian Hotel. I was listening to the air conditioner hum. It went, and then he just like hums it out, which I think is pretty funny. And the, you know, uh, the whole world ends and he still is going to have to pay his bill to the hotel. Uh, really clever lyrics, really great arrangement. Just everything about it is great. So it is my number one Warren Zevon song. All right, good list. I am shocked to see Join Me in L.A. on there, though. I've always kind of considered that the weak, weakest track on the self-titled. 
Uh, for my list, my number 10 is A Mutineer, which is a, a really sparse tune. It's got this nice synth bed on it, a little bit of fretless bass and very minimal percussion, but it's got such a great melody and I love the lyrics on it. Uh, number nine, I've got Reconsider Me, which is a great give me another chance type of song. Warren's voice on it is really, really good. Number eight, I've got Roland, the Headless Thompson Gunner. Such a weird song. Something really only Zevon could pull off, I think. Just really great storytelling with his warped and weird sense of humor. Uh, number seven, I've got Tenderness on the Block. Kind of a mid-tempo tune, but really, really great band performance. I think it's really well arranged. The piano on it is really propulsive. Rhythm section is really tight. Kunkel and Korchmar, Kenny Edwards, just great playing from all of them. Number six, I've got Play It All Night Long. I love Zevon you know, taking shots at the South in a really smart way. And with almost like this reverence for the South at the same time, it's, it's very interesting the way he does it. Uh, number five, I've got Keep Me In Your Heart, just a devastating song. Uh, hearing Warren Zevon confront death with such bravery and his voice giving out, but still soldiering on, just very emotional track. I love it. Number four, Accidentally Like a Martyr, uh, the great Leland Sklar on bass on this one. I love the intro and interlude sections with the great little guitar leads going on there. Uh, really strong chorus to that song too, and you know, great backing vocals on it from uh, Carla Bonoff. And we've mentioned it a, a bunch throughout the other video, but he just used backing vocals so so well, uh, maybe better than anyone. He just really knew how to arrange the backing vocals in a way that really lifted the songs. Number three, I've got Desperados Under the Eaves, incredible piece of songwriting, like Joe said, uh, some of his best lyrics ever, and an amazing arrangement between the backing vocals and the strings and the way they both kind of swell together, just really, really awesome. Number two, I've got Carmelita, great country rock tune, it's got that like mariachi flavor to it, and uh, Glenn Fry and David Lindley both playing acoustic guitars, and the way those two guitars interact with each other throughout the track is fantastic. And my number one, though, is going to be The French Inhaler, my favorite song of 1976. Uh, it's one of the great kiss-off tunes of all time, just some incredible lines. Your face look, looked like something death brought in its suitcase is one of the all-time great lyrics. I love the swelling backing vocals on that track, too. So good. So there you go. Those are my favorite Warren Zevon tracks. Cool. Uh, not picking the big hits, so... Not surprising. I think we're all kind of sick of uh, Werewolves of London. Not the big hits, but I think just about every song on my top 10 is on some one of his greatest hits compilations. So it's not like I went super deep. I just kind of skimmed a couple off the top. But there you go. Let us know what your favorite tracks are. What did we miss? Drop them all down in the comments. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed yet. And make sure you hit the bell. So you know when the new videos are dropping. Uh, we drop them all the time, though. So uh, almost every day we try to. So keep checking back. Check the video description for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, our website, Patreon, and our merch store. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.